Welcome to story time. It is story time. Come on in and open your mind. Welcome to story time. It is story time. It is story time. Come on in and let's explore. There are so many open doors. Come on in and bring a friend. Come on in and let's begin. It is story time. Welcome to story time, my friends. Bring a friend. Grab your book buddies. Let's snuggle up. Get your blanket. I have my warm scarf today as my blanket. I'm wearing my winter things to keep me nice and warm. It's winter time and we are enjoying winter stories. So, once upon a time, there was a story titled Bitty Baby Loves the Snow. Look how cute that is. Look at Bitty Baby. I love it. By Kirby Larson and Sue Carnelson. Look at that. <gasps> Bitty Baby. All right. Let's open this book cover, which is our book door. Let's explore. Bitty Baby Loves the Snow by Kirby Larson and Sue Carnelson. For Louise to Sam with love. Bitty Baby and I open the curtains. It's all white outside. And Bitty Baby, snow, I said. Let's go play. Dress up nice and warm like me, said Daddy. It's cold out there. Brrr. Bitty Baby and I pulled on warm sweaters and tights and snowsuits and hats. We're ready, I said. We're going to build the best snowman ever. My brother pulled Bitty Baby and me in the sled. Past Daddy, Daddy, shovel in the driveway to the hill by our house. Yay! Bitty Baby and I tumbled off. This is the perfect snow for building. And it's the perfect snow for sledding with my friend, said my brother. He hurried to the sledding hill. Let's start our snowman, I said. Bitty Baby and I scooped up some snow and made a snowball. We rolled it frontwards and backwards and sideways until it was big and round. This will be the snowman's leg, I said. Next, the tummy, said Bitty Baby. We rolled and rolled another big snowball, frontwards and backwards and sideways. Help me put his tummy on, I said. We tried to lift the snowball. It's too heavy, said Bitty Baby. I called for my brother to come help. I'm sledding, he called back. Do it yourself. Bitty Baby and I looked at each other. Can he see that we can't do it ourselves, she asked. Maybe he'll be done sledding soon, I said. But every time my brother zipped down the hill, he turned right around and climbed back up. Up, 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 and then zoom over and over. That does look like fun, I said. It looks fun and fast, said Bitty Baby. And he doesn't need to wait for anyone to help him. When I'm big like my brother, I'll be able to do lots of things, I said. Even build a snowman. Brr, I'm cold, said Bitty Baby, and I'm tired of waiting. I'll tell you a story while we wait, I said. Then it won't seem so long. We snuggle under a tree. One snowy day, Bitty Baby met a friendly poly bear, polar bear. I've been waiting and waiting for someone to play with, said polar bear. How about a game of hide and seek? Okay, said Bitty Baby. You hide first, said Bear. He counted to ten. 
Ready or not, here I come. He spotted Bitty Baby right away. Now it's my turn to hide. Bitty Baby counted to 10. Ready or not, here I come, she said. She looked behind and under and up and down. She could not find Bear anywhere. Finally, she called out, Bear, where are you? Polar Bear popped out of his hiding place. I'm good at finding and hiding, he laughed. Now let's play chase. Try to catch me. But Bear zoomed so fast over the ice that Bitty Baby couldn't catch him. How about another game, asked Bear. I know, said Bitty Baby. Follow the leader. She skipped across the snow. I'll be the leader. Follow me. Polar Bear tried to skip, but his legs got tangled. Tippy toes twirl, said Bitty Baby. She twirled around and around. Polar Bear tippy toed, but when he tried to twirl, he landed smack on his bottom. Here's an easy one, said Bitty Baby. She did a perfect somersault. I can do that, said Bear. He tucked his head and began to roll and roll and roll into a great ball of bear. Bitty Baby helped brush off the snow. I guess I can't twirl and tumble, said Bear. And I can't hide and seek in the snow, said Bitty Baby. Well, said Polar Bear, if you don't do one thing, do something else. And Bitty Baby and Polar Bear made a snow angel until it was time to go in for hot cocoa. Polar Bear was smart, said Bitty Baby. He thought of something they both could do. And I just thought of something too. I hopped up. Help me roll some more snowballs. Bitty Baby and I made five fat snowballs. We lined them up one after the other. Then we found some twigs. Good job, I said. And we did it all by ourselves, said Bitty Baby. My brother ran over. I've never seen a snow caterpillar before, he said. I'm going to build a snow animal too. Well, my brother worked on his snow turtle. Bitty Baby and I took a turn on the sled. We zoomed down the hill very, very fast, as fast as a polar bear, maybe faster. Wow, look at that snow caterpillar. Have you ever seen that before? Look at the snow turtle. They were very creative. The end. So for parents, it talks about child play. Plain is a wonderful, wonderful natural language of children. It exercises a child body and imagination. It provides a safe place to express feelings and work out conflict. Through play, your daughter or son can create her own world and even her own friends. Sometimes it's okay to play alone, but social play is so much fun. You get to learn from each other. You get to play different parts and you have some help. And it makes your imagination go that much bigger. We love to explore. That's why we open these book doors to explore. But imagine playing right there with your friend, exploring new things, new objects, new toys. So much fun. I enjoyed this story. Bitty Baby Loves the Snow. And look what they made together. Brother wouldn't help, but Bitty Baby and sister worked together. They made a caterpillar. Bear came along and had some fun. Brother even learned to make a snow turtle. This was a wonderful, wonderful story. I love babies. It reminds me of my own story, Shelly's Dolly. Baby doll stories or baby stories are so, so, so much fun to have. All right. So if you would like 
to enjoy this story, visit your local library. Grab this story, and if you would like to make it a part of your home library, visit your local bookstore to purchase. Or, if mom and dad would like to make a little magic and make it appear at your doorstep, you can go to places like shop online like Amazon, Barnes & Noble, or Target. They have these stories too, just like they have my story, Shelly's Dolly. Go check it out. All right, if you are getting ready for bedtime, sleep tight. If you're getting ready for nap time, sleep tight. Or if you're just enjoying these winter stories, come on back, subscribe, give me a like, enjoy. All right, story time is all done. Thank you, everyone. Butterfly kisses. Bye.